This is another video brought to you by The Ichiban Productions. Like, comment, subscribe. So welcome everyone. Happy days are here again. It's that special time again. It's the WrestleCrate UK unboxing. This time it's the November edition. Although I've only just got it and it's December. But anyway, don't worry about the uh, details. Let's crack it open and see. Is it worth it? Remember guys, it's three strikes and it's a cancel subscription. They've currently got one. And that was for the um, September one. October is pretty good. Let's see. Does November live up to the hype? So I'm number one. If you've seen any of my other unboxings of these, you know I don't like looking and giving my genuine, honest opinions. So it's a fresh surprise for me. So it's a surprise for you. Item number one is always a t-shirt. Let's have a look. What did we get? We got ourselves. No way. <laughs> that is, oh my goodness. That is a higher booster t-shirt. I am literally marking out. I was one of the biggest higher booster fans back in the day. Oh my days. 10 on 10. Resubscribe. Don't even need to look at the rest of it. That is an absolute winner for me. Boom, cheeky cut. Honestly, I am marking out. You cannot even describe how much I'm smiling and laughing. I can't believe it. What a forgotten hero. An absolute legend. Oh, higher booster. FMW days. Did a little bit of work in ECW as well. You know, oh, the, the barbed wire death matches, the unbelievable skill. One of the best high flyers that have ever existed. I mean, he had a tragic end towards his career, but what a, you know, a heartwarming story. The man, if you don't know it, look it up. He was basically paralyzed. Um, he did a lion salt or a, you know, a second rope back uh, moon salt, a bit like that, landed on his neck and unfortunately ended his career. But the man said he was going to walk again. I remember seeing him walk. He had a walking stick, but, you know, he was paralyzed. He did it. What a hero to us all. This is an amazing t-shirt. Uh, I can't honestly tell you how amazingly happy I am with this. I know I'm saying amazing a lot. That's because this is damn well amazing. So it's going to be pretty hard to uh, to top that one. But I think we got the uh, the usual piece of paper we get with this. We got uh, Tonosuke Takeshi. Oh, I do apologize for the pronunciation of the name. I'm terrible with stuff like that. That's what's in next ones. I'm not overly enamored with that one. Ooh, our next final figure, pretty cool. And then on this side, I ain't gonna look, I'm gonna turn away, but you guys can see that's what's in the um, the crate this month. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't wanna know what that is. And then we got the age old thing, which is advertising, you know, some on-demand wrestling company. Um, it is what it is, not a real item, uh, but let's see what's coming up next. Next up, we got ourselves, it's the pin you get in every loot crate, no matter where you are, and it is, and obey. Uh, I do sometimes think that I'm really out of touch with wrestling because I don't really get that reference. I mean, it looks like Cody colors, but I don't really, uh, I don't really know. When on the chase, it glows. I don't, obey, I don't get it. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna Google it and see. Can I, can I figure out what that is? Do you guys ever get this idea that things happen for a reason or like this coincidence or karma or something? Anyway, as I was talking about this, I watched the video clip back. I, for some reason, it magically seemed to go into slow-mo. Uh, weird. But yeah, uh, I totally looked it up. I get it now. It's Rider Roddy Piper's They Live. If you've seen it, it's a quality movie. I just didn't get it. I assumed it was something more modern or something more, um, you know, up-to-date with wrestling. But yeah, Rider Roddy Piper's They Live. Uh, pin, not too bad. Not great. I mean, I preferred the uh, the glow one, but uh, you get what you're given, I suppose. Not terrible. Not good. It's a meh item. Up next out of the box, it's got to be the DVD. What have we got this time? We've got ourselves... Uh... Gangrene? I sometimes think I'm really out the loop here with wrestling, honestly. Um... Uh, what have we got here? Uh... Deathmatch Federation? Um... <laughs> 200,000 Thumbtack Deathmatch. Um... Homicide, I recognise. Assuming it's the same homicide that I know from, from TNA. But yeah, I have no idea what that is. Uh, weird. Gonna give it a watch, you know, it could be okay, it might not. I'm gonna hold, withhold judgment until I've actually watched it, because it's unfair to judge it before it's been watched. So yeah, not too bad. So this has been a right interesting box so far. So I've got something, I don't even know what it is from the feels of it. It's like some sort of uh, wrestling podcast aficionado. What, what is this? It is... <laughs> it's a pair of 3.5mm headphones. My goodness, I can only imagine the quality on these. Uh, they are definitely not for me. However, you know, some might, might make some use out of them. Uh, it could be worse, but goodness, uh, whatever's next. 
Next up, uh, even the autograph, although I think it's feeling a bit more like it's a poster. Yeah, it's a poster that's really grubby. Ugh, goose. What is the poster itself? Let's take a look. It is... Oh, oh there they are. It's the Scissorous. Of course, it's the acclaimed and big daddy ass Billy Gunn when they re <laughs> when they won their uh, AEW Tag Champions. I mean, me personally, this is not necessarily a poster I'm going to put up. Although, really, I don't really know what that is. Or maybe if you're a big fan of these guys and they're scissoring or whatever, it's going to be amazing. But for me, that's no, that, that ain't no good. That ain't nothing compared to the Stone Cold one from last month. Then we're getting down to the bottom of the box now. We've got ourselves our autograph. And this month it is, of course, Trish Stratus. This was heavily advertised in the previous box and whatever, like it's a big deal. For me, it's a bit of a mare. Yeah, it's okay. Clearly, she's come back and she needs some beer money, which is why she's signing these. Again, you can't go wrong with a no-name autograph, so it's a win, but, you know, not the best. Ooh, so after being shortchanged last month, it is a double autograph uh, <laughs> box. I bet you anything I won't know who this is. It is uh, two monkeys and a guy. You have got to love Google image search. So this guy is Mr. Charles Crowley, UK independent wrestler, 30 years old. You know, it probably means a lot to whoever knows this guy. But yeah, it can't go wrong with an autograph. A double autograph is always good. So let's get it all together. Let's recap it and see, was it worth the money or is it a strike? Boom, cheeky cut, there we go, there is everything in all its glory. Oh, this is a lucky, lucky month, I would suggest. If it was any other t-shirt, with this would definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, be a strike two. However, I'm going to give you, oh, I'm just going to give you a pass this month, WrestleCrate. So it's still on one strike, you're pushing it. I mean, if that t-shirt wasn't a higher booster one, we'd be up trouble. I mean, I don't know about the DVD, you got to watch that. I mean, Deathmatch Wrestling isn't my sort of thing. Maybe it's amazing. Uh, it's two signatures, you know, that's all right. But he's skimping on the other stuff. I am really looking at that and thinking I do need to downgrade my subscription because the normal subscription gives you the good stuff. That pin and those headphones, it could shove it, man. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, you don't. So with that in mind, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a cheeky thumbs up. It means more people can make an informed choice about whether wrestling crates for them or not. If you've got any comments, post them in the comment section below. I reply to each and every comment. I love engaging with my community. Let me know what you think. Is it that a great box? Does it mean more to you than me? Uh, let me know. Let me know. And if you've got a uh, second or you just want to do something nice for an independent YouTuber desperately crawling his way to a thousand subscribers, press that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. One day I will be able to make some of that sweet, sweet YouTube money and hopefully get more wrestle crates and things and technology and games and all the craziness to review to save you money in the long run. With that in mind, you know what we're going to say. Look after yourself, take care of the people around you, and most importantly, stay out of trouble.